stretch where you missed I think you like a five minute or so field goal drought. Seems like all those looks were were pretty good. Were you happy with those? And then when you got back into it, it seemed like you were kind of taking those same looks, just a matter of, of making them and missing them. Yeah, it's you gotta score. And you can't you don't when you play Tennessee, you're not gonna get too many open opportunities on offense. So when you get them you gotta capitalize. And um, we we had Keyshawn Bryant, uh, Mike AJ, Jermaine, those are the guys that come to mind. Justin, I mean, we had opportunities to score like five feet and in. Uh, I get it, you're not gonna go 100% on those shots, but you can't go over either. And uh, it just seems like that stretch of the game, we, and we, I think we ended up missing three out of four free throws too in that sequence that you're talking about. So uh, empty possessions, it hurt us against Florida. Uh, we had, uh, I'm going back here, I think it was a, uh, one point game or something like that, and we had nine possessions where we had three points, four turnovers in nine consecutive possessions, and that kind of happened again today. And we were better defensively, uh, so we were we were able to uh, survive to put ourselves in a place to win at the end. But we got to make those plays. Jermaine gets all seventeen shot attempts. He runs the point for you some today. What did you think of his aggressiveness? Yeah, it's Jermaine. I've tried to tell you guys, Jermaine's. Uh, I don't know what better word to use than connected. He's the most connected guard to me on our team. Uh, he has uh, the best understanding and plays with the, with the best aggression on our team. And uh, uh, so I, he's, he's a real good player. I'm, I'm excited about coaching Jermaine. I, I go out there every day, and I know that he's going to fight for me. So I get excited about coaching guys like him. I hear your plan, Coach. Frank, when you we're kind of scouting a guy like Descobie, a, a guy who obviously makes a lot of plays, also turns the ball over a lot. Was the plan to just apply as much pressure as him as possible and maybe maybe get some points that way off turnovers? That's that's how we guard everybody. That's how we guarded Jordan Bone. Uh, I, I, I didn't change our, our concepts uh, for him. Uh, he's got a new, I've coached a bunch of uh, young men from uh, other parts of the country, the world. Uh, we defend it differently. United States than they're used to uh, playing against uh, in their countries. And, and with foreign players, you, you get a tremendous skill, which obviously you have with him. Uh, when he's at comfort in space, he's a high-level shooter that, that that can make really good plays for his teammates. Um, and, uh, but, you know, but like, how about the play he made there at the beginning? I understand 
I, I understand that uh, that we still had an opportunity to shoot because they didn't score. But the ball he came up with on the baseline out of bounds ended up in front of me. I, that's a heck of a play. That, you know, that's a heavy play by that young man because he could have saved it to the middle of the court. He could have given up on the ball. Instead, he saved it and threw it all the way back towards our basket. That, that, if he did that on purpose, which I don't think that was a mistake, that's my personal opinion, that's, that's the kind of stuff that you get from him. As he adjusts to uh, how we defend, I, I think he's going to be a real good player in this league. Your left hand. Yeah, you kind of touched on free throw shooting a lot, a lot this year. Just how deflating is it when you guys go out there and miss nine free throws um, a couple late in the month? Uh, Northern Iowa, Boston University, uh, Stetson. Can you get Jair and AJ going all offensively? And that missed dunk for AJ, is that just kind of the way things have been for him here lately? Yeah, they, they, those two got to figure it out themselves. I can't have guys that, that uh, aren't playing with fire. And uh, they, they've, they've got to, they're good dudes. You know, they, they've got to figure that out. I can't, uh, I, I, I can't worry about motivating guys to compete. That has to, that's an intrinsic thing, not an extrinsic thing. And, uh, and they, they, they have to be a lot more competitive. Uh, and competitive doesn't mean just defend. It means when you run, run harder. When you've got an opportunity to drive the ball, play stronger. Uh, when you have a dunk, you got to score. You can't, you know, just uh, all those things, to, you know, come into play. Uh, and uh, they, they, uh, uh, the word casual comes to mind a lot when Ask me about those two guys. And it's unfortunate because they're both very talented and they're both good young men. That we need them to change gears to help us a little bit. Uh, your team held Jordan Bell to one of 17 uh, shooting. Did you, did you have a special? Uh, 